Hey everybody, Amy here. I am excited to show you guys a number of new player add-ons that were recently launched into iWire. Now, these add-ons were developed by several iWire players, Crazyman4865, Christoph Krook, Jouster L, and of course Elden Dolph with the Scouts Log. This first video is going to go over add-ons that are applicable and available to every player, even if you're still in the tutorial in iWire. And the first one is extended profiles. So Christoph has added this awesome new graph that shows your history in your profile. So in my case, I've got trailblazes, cubes, and points for the last seven days, 10 weeks, or 12 months. If you're a scouter scythe, this will also display your reaps and your completes. And you can also, in the top of your profile, check your current, look at the previous period, and also see your personal best. So you can always compete with yourself. In addition to profile, there is now a stats tab, which is super cool. It visualizes all sorts of statistics about the iWire player community for the day, the week, the month, or even a custom period. So you can select, say, the if you wanted to look at the month, you can also look at points, cubes, users, trail, the number of trailblazes, uh, also the number of flags from scouts, the number of reaps from size, and also the number of completes, which is players marking branches as being complete. And finally, for the first time ever, we have a all a top 100, which is the all-time leaderboard for iWire, where you can see a number of different categories, best day, best week, best month, best year, and all-time best. So, so there are also a number of new uh, options in the settings menu. So if you go to more and you scroll down in settings, you'll see a list of official add-ons um, that you can default toggle on or off. Now we are hosting these add-ons uh, at iWire and we have default toggled them on because we feel that they're an improvement to the game. Uh, however, if you don't want to run them, you're welcome to, to turn them off. Um, and you can also add any new add-on with this, uh, with this box by putting in a script URL or clicking on a link. But you should make sure that you're only installing add-ons from players that you know and that you trust. Um, so as far as the, the add-ons that are available to all players, there are a number of different chat features. So you can toggle on and off a chat stamp, uh, chat, a chat timestamp. So right there you can see it says 1030 uh, Amy. So you can turn that off or turn that on. Um, and then there's a number of different customization settings for showing different tabs. So if you're um, if you're not a scout or higher in iWire, you're only going to have this all tab until someone sends you a private message. And now all of the private messages will appear in their own little tabs. Uh, and you also have this command section so you can type backslash help and you can see all these commands that you can use in chat. And in addition, you can, uh, uh, Crazy Man has added uh, these tabbed chat commands, which are really cool. I want to show you one of the chat features that uh, is in tab chat that's been available in iWire, but that's not well exposed, that Crazy Man's tabbed chat has made easier to use. And that is add cell. So you can now display multiple cells in the iWire overview by just typing add cell with a cell ID. So you may be asking, how do I know the cell ID? Well, you just type in debug, and then up at the top here, it'll show you the cell ID. So let's switch cells to we'll pull up a celestial expedition. So now we'll go add cell, cell ID 1, cell ID 2, hit enter, and voila, two different cells in the same iWire overview. And you can add as many cells as your browser will handle. And you can also type this debug command for any of the cells that are online. And if you wanted to add cells that are not online, just type a message in chat. And I'm sure one of the scouts or sites will be happy to help you track down some cell IDs for things that are not currently available. Another setting that could be interesting to use is one by Kristoff, which is submit using spacebar. So you can toggle this on, and then when you go start playing and map a cube, you can just hit the spacebar. So this cube doesn't really have a lot to add. I'm just gonna hit space, and that submitted the cube. 
Uh, and you can also toggle off the leaderboard. So if you want to play like the wind, go really quickly, uh, not be bothered by seeing the leaderboard at the end of the cube that you've submitted, you can toggle that off in the, in the settings menu as well. And the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is that you can customize the top buttons here. So you'll see the top of my iWire really only has the challenge tab and stats. That's because I've turned everything off going for minimal here. So you can turn, they, the defaults are on, but I've turned them all off. So you can customize which uh, options, which links you want to show at the top of your iWire. And the last thing that I'll just really quickly show that has already been out in iWire, but that is uh, an HQ version of a script that was originally created by Christoph Crook, is the activity tracker. So Christoph built a script that showed you your accuracy history, and we thought it was so great that we had to add it to official iWire. So this was the first script, and then there were so many other amazing scripts that we built the add-on feature. So again, you can go back in, and you, what you really want to do is click on the bars that are very low. So bar that says, I have 0% accuracy on this cube. So if I click on this, get on this little dot right here, it will load up this cube into review mode to show me what I missed in this cube. So it, it shows me everything that I got incorrect, everything that I missed, also everything that I got correct. And in case you were wondering, the seed is the piece that you started the cube on. So that's the blue piece that you trace from. Uh, and the colors on here, dark blue means that it was reaped, red means that the accuracy was low, this centered dot means that you are the trailblazer, so we don't have accuracy for you yet, and so it default shows as 100%. And all these blue bars mean that your accuracy was over 95%, so pat yourself on the back for any of those. That's it for now. We anticipate a number of new features. We hear that these players are building tons of cool new things to make iWire an even better place. And I just want to end by saying thank you so much to the player community who have built these amazing add-ons for iWire. And also thank you to you, all of you who have been playing iWire, some of you for so many years now, making it an awesome place to be and contributing to science, everyone around the world. Thank you so much, and I'm excited to see you guys online. For science!